It's Remy here from the X's and O's team. And it's out here today. My guy, Trevor. Trevor. QB1. Yes, sir. Mandem that out here. Mm -hmm. So let's get straight into it, my guy. How you doing today? You good? I'm good, man. You know, got to watch some football yesterday. So, yep. chilling. Counting down the last days we got and see what happens. Right. So, been in, you've been out in Germany, mm -hmm. am I right? Mm -hmm. Playing football? Yep. In the GFL one. Mm -hmm. Um, how did you get into American football? Start off that with that. So, you know, I started in fourth grade. My dad was always a football coach, so he was always there, you know, for me. Uh, so I started in fourth grade. I actually wanted to start earlier, but they wanted to kind of wait until I was a little older right. to like take the hits and whatnot, because I was real skinny when I was younger. So yeah, I started in fourth grade, my dad was a coach, and that's kind of how I got into it. And plus, like everyone plays it in America, so it's like easy to get into. Right, I see. So off that, how long have you been playing the sport? Shit, so that was what, 10 years old, so I'm 26 now, so wow, 15, 16 years, I guess. 16 years. That's crazy to even think about, honestly, but wow. yeah, I guess it's been that long. What, real vet in this thing, yeah. Yeah. I've got you. So what, does everyone in the States start playing football from an early age? Well, the thing is about America that's different than like a lot of countries is there's so many other sports. Like, like there's football, basketball, baseball. They even play soccer when you're younger, mm -hmm. lacrosse. Well, there's like a lot of options, but football's like one of the more popular. So I think a lot of kids play it, but it's also one of those things that you want to get hit. Not everyone wants to get hit. So it kind of balances it out from there. Right, I see. Interesting, man. Um, Vez me into my next thing. Mm -hmm. um, how, what position did you play? So these years while you were playing football. So at first I was running back, like quarterback, running back kind of. I played running back like the first two years. And then after that, I was quarterback from like sixth grade until like junior year, sophomore year of college. And then I played receiver for one year mm -hmm. and then went back to quarterback for that. Went to Finland after that, after I graduated college, played quarterback. The next year I played receiver, and then this year I played receiver and quarterback. So pretty much just receiver and quarterback with me and the quarterback the whole time. Right, I see. And uh, what, do you have like a favorite between those two? Like, was there any, well, I don't know. When you're like quarterback definitely comes with like a lot of good things, you know, off the fields, like on the field, like people listen to you. You don't have to really fight to get your voice heard and mm -hmm. stuff like that. But this also comes with a lot of pressure, so it's, you know, you gotta be able to balance that out. It's not just all good and like fun. You have to put the work in, you have to like study the film, things like that. And I still like quarterback better, especially lately, have been playing both, like especially this year, receiver and quarterback. I definitely like quarterback better, but it doesn't say it doesn't have like its downfalls also. So you need everyone around you to play well. But if they don't, it all looks bad on you. So it's, it's tough sometimes. Hey, with uh, what great power comes great responsibility. Yeah, I was actually thinking of the words to say for that, <laughs> that whole time, but I couldn't get it. So, hey, yeah. shout out Spider Man, man. Um, <clears throat> brings on to my next thing. Um, mm. so during these years that you were playing, like from youth, mm. uh, what are the names of the teams you've played for? Okay, so Pop Warner that's what they call like before you go to high school and stuff. Right. I played for a team called. The Cumberland Colts, that was the first team I played for. And then high school, I played at a Catholic school called St. Raphael Academy. Mm -hmm. It's in Pawtucket, Rhode Island. I went there all four years. And then after that, I swear it gets kind of bumpy. I went to like a post-grad prep school in Virginia called Hargrave Military. If you heard of Fourth Union, it's like kind of like that. The next year I went to junior college at Dean College. It's only like a two year school. So after that, I went to Elon University, which is a 1AA right. down in North Carolina. I stayed there for a year, but then the whole staff got fired. Like, it was kind of crazy, and I kind of wanted to go back home. So I went to Assumption College, which is a Division Two. Played quarterback the whole year. Well, so wait, um, so it's cut you in, so you played NCAA? This NCAA? Yeah, right. all of it is NCAA besides the post-grad thing. Got it. So, yeah. Sorry. And then after I played at Assumption, like, had something happen there, I had to finish at a Division three school called Worcester State, and that's where I graduated from. Oh, so you... I've been around. Been yeah. around, my guy. Yeah, I wasn't able to stay at one place for too long, so... Got you, <clears throat> got you. Um, so in all these years and going through all these schools and stuff, I'm sure you've had loads of many, like, memorable moments, but mm -hmm. is there one that 
like, stood out to you that you could share with us? One moment that stands out more than all of them. Uh, to be honest, I'd say like senior year of high school is probably the funnest. For me, at least it was just like your friends like you grew up with and like, it's kind of like the last year you could all play together. And I would say that even though it wasn't like the best football or like the most intense, it was probably like the funnest football, like, I would say. So I'd probably you. say like senior year of high school, just that whole experience. And and within your senior high school year, was there a moment on the football field itself? That yeah, yeah, yeah. So we could... played we played a team, Johnston, if you know Paulie B from Jersey Shore, that's where he went to high school. Just really? For like a reference and stuff. So they, it was like one of the craziest games in like state history. It was like, Double overtime, we won 56-51, had like five touchdowns, one rushing. So that was probably the best game out of all of it mm -hmm. for that year. It was like a playoff game too, so. Oh, interesting, man. Um, mm -hmm. So you've played in the GFL, um, you've played in Europe, and you've also played in the States. Yeah. What, for you, are there any differences in level, uh, coaching and player-wise? Well, the thing is, in Europe, it's not like an everyday thing. In US, you only get one day off every week. So even weekends, you're like it's every single day. So just by that, over the years, you're gonna get, even in Pop Warner, you play every day. Mm -hmm. Like every single day you play. Like weekends, you have games and stuff. But So like just that over time, you develop like the instincts, just like how Europe soccer is like their thing. So like instinctually, they can play soccer better probably than an American who didn't grow up with that culture around them all the time. So I think, that's like the biggest difference. Like, yeah, there's good athletes in Europe and if they got to play every day, who knows how good they could be, but they're, they're not, you know? So like, that's where the biggest difference is. To me, it's just like every day. It's USA, it's, it's every day. In, in Europe, it's like a couple of days a week you practice, you don't watch film all the time with your team. So I think that's like where the difference really is. Got you. Mm -hmm. So you <clears throat> believe, uh, so the level in the States is much higher than what it is yeah, out here because, in Germany. I mean, well, first, there's more people and like we're doing it every day. So like that's just how it's going to end up being. Yeah, of but course, yeah. Is something you're going to be a little better at. So. Makes sense, my bro. Um, <clears throat> on to the next question. So as you know, American football is a tough sport, mm -hmm. uh, contact sport, a lot of injuries yeah. on a daily. Um, wanted to know what are your personal reservations regarding head injuries and the whole CTE thing, like, do you, as a football player yourself, do you have any fears regarding what the game might be doing to you in the long run, or um, have you ever thought about it from that perspective? Not really, to be honest. First, I played quarterback most of my life, so I'm not taking most of those, like, every play hits that some people, so I might not be the best person to ask for that, but, like, in my opinion, like, we all kind of know what we're signing up for, so... It's to me, it's stupid to like know how physical this game is and like later down the line complain about like injuries. Like, mm -hmm. you knew what it was getting into it, so I don't think you should complain down the road if stuff is happening. Like, you know what this game is, you get tackled, you get hit every play. Like, that's just what it is. So, that's my take on it. What you, my guy? And um, brings me to my last question What's next? What's next? So, I haven't said this yet. Music is my number one. Football is my number two. So, right. So T R E V A E L I Trevor Ellie. So you're platforms. you're an artist. Yes. Right. Yes. So tell us a bit more about that. What um what sort sort of music do you make, my guy? I say like alternative with like hip hop, like kind of mix like that. I don't know if there's like a specific brand or yep. what it is right now, but I do all that stuff. But I've been doing that for like two years, like officially before I was just messing around with it, like freestyle with your boys shit like that mm -hmm. and now i'm doing it officially so that's my number one and like football is kind of like a job at this point because i'm getting older and if i was going to make the nfl like it would already happen by now so <clears throat> sorry so i think like the music is what i'm like looking forward to most moving forward you know, i you. got some tracks i want to lay down today with my guys you know hey. maybe do a remix in london Keep down the hush just for now. Hey. And yeah, so that's number one. Football, I, I do want to keep playing. Like if this, the music doesn't like go off the ground like crazy, I wouldn't be opposed to coming back to Europe if the money was right. But we're getting older, like there's bills to pay and stuff like that. So it's not just like coming out of college and going to play in Europe. Got you. You know what I mean? There's Got real you. life stuff you have to worry about. So I don't know what's next, but I'm heavily pursuing the music first. And if football comes, I'll, like I'll stay in shape, but 
we'll see what happens. Got you, man. Best of luck with that. Just hit, you, hit us with your stage name. Like, how can people get to your music? Like? So it's Trevor Ellie, T R E V A E L I. It's on all platforms, yep. all social media. Just look it up and it'll all be there. Hey, got you, my guy. Hey, appreciate you for coming no problem, to the studio man. today, my no guy. Problem, no problem. And wish you the best of luck. Thanks.